Let us now take another example from ordering where we have to find out the tallest or the shortest person among the given group or the heaviest or the lightest person in the group. That is, here we are trying to find out the extreme ends of the group. Let's take an example. The question here is, Rohan is taller than Anand but shorter than Seema. Krishna is taller than Pushpa but shorter than Anand. Dheeraj is taller than Krishna but shorter than Seema and we need to know who among them is tallest. To solve this question and find out the tallest person in the group, we need to make the ascending order or the descending order of the heights of these persons and that can be done simply by reading out these statements. Now if you look at the first statement, it says Rohan is taller than Anand. So we can say R greater than A but shorter than Seema. That means Rohan is taller than Anand but Rohan is shorter than Seema. Now when Rohan is shorter than Seema, we can say that Seema is taller than Rohan and that can be integrated into this statement as Seema is taller than Rohan. Moving on to the second statement, it says Krishna is taller than Pushpa but here we neither have Krishna or Pushpa in our equation. So let us simply understand that Krishna is taller than Pushpa but shorter than Anand. That means Krishna is shorter than Anand. Now integrating this part into this statement, we can say that Krishna is shorter than Anand. That means Anand is taller than Krishna. So Anand is taller than Krishna can be integrated as shown. So now the statement becomes Seema is taller than Rohan, Rohan is taller than Anand, Anand is taller than Krishna and Krishna is taller than Pushpa. Moving on to the last statement, it says Dheeraj is taller than Krishna but shorter than Seema. That means Dheeraj is taller than Krishna and shorter than Seema. So Dheeraj is shorter than Seema. So very clearly Dheeraj is a person who comes in between Krishna and Seema. Dheeraj should come in between Krishna and Seema and we can see that Seema and Krishna are in these positions. So Dheeraj can come anywhere in between Krishna and Seema and no way Dheeraj can be the tallest person. So from this statement now we can understand that Seema is taller than Rohan, is taller than Anand, is taller than Krishna, is taller than Pushpa and Dheeraj is a person who is in between Seema and Krishna. So very clearly the tallest person in this group is going to be Seema. So we can say that the tallest person is Seema and the shortest person in the group is Pushpa. So Seema is the tallest person and Pushpa is the shortest person. But friends, you being a banker's choice student and having got the banker's choice advantage, we cannot afford to spend so much time for such a simple problem. If you try to be smart, the same question can be solved within 5 to 10 seconds simply by finding out the wrong answers. Let's understand how to solve this question in a smarter way. We know that we have to find out the tallest person in the group. So very clearly a person who is shorter to some other person cannot be the answer. Now keeping this point in mind, let us find out who cannot be the tallest person. If you look at the first statement, it says Rohan is taller than Anand. When Rohan is taller than Anand, it is obvious that Anand is shorter than Rohan. And when Anand is shorter than Rohan, he cannot be the tallest person. Moving on to the next part, it says Rohan is taller than Anand but shorter than Seema. That means Rohan is shorter than Seema. And when Rohan is shorter than Seema, Rohan cannot be the tallest person. So even Rohan gets eliminated. Now from the next statement, Krishna is taller than Pushpa. When Krishna is taller than Pushpa, we understand that Pushpa is shorter than Krishna. And when Pushpa is shorter than Krishna, Pushpa cannot be the tallest person in the group. And similarly, continuing with the remaining part, we know that Krishna is taller than Pushpa but shorter than Anand. That means Krishna is shorter than Anand. When Krishna is shorter than Anand, Krishna cannot be the tallest person. So even Krishna gets eliminated. And from the last statement, we know that Dheeraj is taller than Krishna. 
but shorter than Sima. As Krishna has already got eliminated, let us directly compare Dhiraj with Sima. We know that Dhiraj is shorter than Sima. When Dhiraj is shorter than Sima, Dhiraj cannot be the tallest person. So even Dhiraj gets eliminated. And now from the six persons, we have eliminated the five persons who are who cannot be tallest. That is Rohan, Anand, Krishna, Pushpa and Dhiraj. So the only left out person here is Sima. So we can say that Sima is the tallest person in the group. If you compare, the answer in this method also was Sima. That Sima is tallest in the group. So that is how we can differentiate ourselves from others in solving such simple questions without wasting a lot of time in this method. So friends, try to be smart and get the answers in a simple way. See you in the next session. Thank you.